Hi everyone and welcome back to the Happy Heart. I am so glad that you guys came over today to see another cleaning video. Um, on this particular night, I just actually wanted to go to bed, but I know I needed to get this um, just a few things done so that I would feel better in the morning. I really didn't want to leave this mess because I had been leaving my dishes in my sink for quite a while the past couple weeks. And I just told myself, no, you cannot do this anymore. And these were the dishes basically from last night and tonight. We really didn't have that much because we had company last night. And so we just had a few pots and pans from where we cooked. But that was really all of the dishes per se that we had um, because we had breakfast Fritos for small group. And if you haven't seen my previous cleaning video where I got ready to host, um, I will go ahead and link that here. So you guys can check that out as well. Um, so here I am just doing these few dishes, getting everything ready, and um, gonna get the kitchen kind of back to normal. It's not too bad considering like I have been cleaning um, yesterday and the day before, but I really just didn't want to leave anything undone. I really wanted to get everything put away and everything like that. So. I'm sure you guys understand it's like once you get it clean you want to keep it clean and so that is my motivation that is what I've been trying to do I've been trying to work more for the reward and how it will make me feel in the end and so I had to kind of push myself through because I had been just hanging out with the boys today watching Marvel movies getting ready for the new Avengers movie to come out so we have been doing marathons and just having fun with that and I thought, you know what, I just need to get this done really quick, and legit, it only took me maybe like half an hour even with filming and everything, so I thought that was actually really good. And um, stay tuned, I will show you guys uh, what is in my refrigerator, because I opened it and it was so packed that I thought, you know what, this would just be something interesting to share, because I have no idea why it's so packed, but yeah, so stay tuned for that at the end of this video. After I get everything washed, I kind of called my husband, and believe it or not, y'all, it was almost midnight at this point. And I called my husband, and I said, can you bring me any of the dishes that are in the living room? And of course, there was a few. So I kind of just tried to shove as much as I could in my dishwasher um, because I just wanted to get everything clean. What uh, didn't fit and stuff like that, I ended up washing by hand and just drying by hand and actually putting away. And sometimes I actually leave stuff out overnight, but I feel like if you just take that extra few minutes, dry everything, and put it away, you feel so much better because your counters are clean. And so that's kind of a tip that I can tell you guys. So this is actually just our popcorn bowl because I told you we've been watching movies. And um, I ended up washing another pot and I think another big pot because um, that was just what I made pasta in tonight as you can tell those are my pasta dishes and so yeah there's always those few stragglers right
trick where you put lemon doTERRA oil um, in your, like on your sheet pan, I guess, or your cookie sheet or whatever, and it's supposed to bring up all the stuff that's kind of stuck on and all that. Um, mine, I think, it's not that there's stuff that's stuck on, it's almost like stained at this point, and I'm not sure how to get it back to normal, but I think actually if I would have left the lemon oil in the little water on there longer that it would have took it all off because I was looking at it real closely and you could see some spots where it was kind of taking it up so if you guys have heard of that let me know and let me know if it works because um, I saw it on somebody's vlog I can't even remember now and it worked for them so if it, that works for you guys let me know and if you use your essential oils for something like random like that I would love to know any tips and tricks I have just gotten into the essential oil game here and everything that I use them for I love but um, I always would love to know more and see if there's something I can be doing so if you guys have any hacks or tricks that you use yours for just let me know deal with tonight is I had this stack of papers and oh I really needed to go through it and I just didn't I really just strained it up and left it on my counter left it out so actually I would actually come back and like look through it but that was probably the one thing that I was like nope not gonna happen but I did end up cleaning all of the counters getting that all ready and you'll see later on I actually ended up peeling a bunch of halo oranges um, for my guys and I have been doing that and that has cut down on my food waste considerably uh, for some reason like I've always been buying halo oranges and I love them and so does my family but if I sit there and peel them which really doesn't take but maybe five or ten minutes then um, they will actually eat them so I did that and got those ready so that tomorrow after church they would have kind of that snack instead of chips or something terribly unhealthy. So I wanted to get that done and also it saves counter space because before those oranges were just sitting there on my counter. So um, kind of two birds one stone and that is a tip I can give you guys. I know it feels like it takes a long time or something put on a YouTube video, um, give yourself five minutes, and I do about a half a bag at a time, and let me tell you, it it really works, and we've gone through probably um, two bags of halos in a week because of it, and you know, when you're talking about fruit and things that are healthy, I don't mind doing a little bit of extra work knowing that my family will have more nutrition and make better choices, so it's kind of like the good with the bad, so um, a little bit of hard work, but a good result in the end.
to show you my quick refrigerator tour because I feel like my refrigerator has a ton of stuff in it right now and I have no idea why so I thought this would be the best time to do a tour but I think when you host and things like that you just kind of acquire more too so this will be really interesting to see what's in here um, so up here, up here on the top, we definitely have grapes. I kind of pull everything forward though too. I know back here I have mushrooms that I use for salads and for a pasta dish, some blackberries, some hummus that I have to finish. This is taco meat from the other night. And I actually have more leftovers in here than I thought, interestingly enough. These were potatoes that I made the other night. I always have a stash of cherry tomatoes because I love them. Some butter, no idea what's in here. Oh, these are some chimichangas I made the other day. If you guys haven't seen my video on those, um, they're really great leftovers as well. Back there are some salad kits that I usually eat for lunch. On this third shelf, there's just eggs, and these are meatballs from tonight because we had spaghetti and, meat and meatballs. I always use um, this, I think it's like a quart sized bowl, I fill it with oranges. It's usually in here just like this because I'm too lazy to go get the lid. Um, there's some bacon back there and some cookies, like the break apart, just you make them cookies. Oh, this is a South Carolina treat, y'all. Let me tell you, it's so good. It's um, like pimento cheese kind of dip, but oh, it doesn't really taste like pimento cheese. It's so good. It has like basically like shredded cheese in it. Oh my gosh, y'all. I was eating it earlier. Sour cream cottage cheese. This is where the fun begins. Look at all these orange juices. We had breakfast. Uh, burritos for small groups so a bunch of people brought orange juice so that's why all these are like just a little bit left but they all are different so this is medium pulp pulp free and with mango this I thought it'd be so much better y'all I was not impressed but we have some regular orange juice back there some sweet tea because you know we live in the south uh, always have flavored water in here this was the spaghetti sauce that I didn't use from tonight's dinner and uh, milk and almond milk back there as well. Now this, this is crazy. It's so packed, y'all. <laughs> I need to go through it. Um, there's some hummus, half of an avocado, asparagus, celery, heavy whipping cream. Um, this is for like a soup that I make. Strawberries, blueberries, spinach, and there's another pack of spinach back there. Definitely need to clean this out and organize it, y'all. This is ridiculous. This is the best tea if you have to buy tea. Um, it has no preservatives or anything, so it doesn't stay good for very long. Um, but it's really good. Like I've left mine out on the counter and it will just spoil. You have to refrigerate it, obviously. But um, yeah, it is so good. And they have unsweet too. This is a whole thing of spring mix. Romaine, I think there's like just a little bit and then two of those because I've been eating on them this week. Uh, some almond milk, more flavored water, uh, maple syrup, which y'all, this was my first time trying like real maple syrup. Oh, it was different. It tastes like candy. It's interesting. It's different than all that sugar, but I bet you there's sugar in here too. Um, two different uh, salad dressings. This one I tried, it's really good. Um, it's a cilantro lime. It would be good on like a really big salad too. Haven't tried the other one as you can tell. This is my favorite salsa, Green Mountain Gringo. Oh my gosh, y'all. So good, so good. What else do we have in these drawers? Y'all, this is like my vegetable drawer and this is like my meat and cheese drawer. You can see some things get intermingled so. Um, iceberg lettuce for tacos, green beans, broccoli for salads green onions, always got to have the tricolored peppers just to eat because, because they're so good. Oh, and there's a little bag of cut up onion over here. Oh, y'all, this is embarrassing. Look at that. That's just everything shoved in there. 
Um, always got cheese. Always got cheese, right? Um, chorizo. That's like a Mexican sausage. We put that in our eggs for our um, breakfast burritos. It was so good. Y'all, I stopped eating meat, and I really, really wanted to still eat the sausage, but I refrained. Uh, pepperonis. Different cheeses. Always have baby carrots, my guys. Love some baby carrots. Uh, radishes. These are for um, salads. More baby carrots, cottage cheese for one for us for a dip, and then I want I actually want to try this um, Alfredo, like a chicken Alfredo recipe, and you need a cream cheese, so I bought that the other day. Under here, there's some sliced cheese, uh, cris like the croissants, the roll up croissants. You know what I'm talking about. You guys know what I'm talking about. These that are so good. Uh, always have some of these cheeses. I usually dip celery with them. And oh, y'all, it's amazing. It's a laughing cow. Love all those. And some feta cheese, some guacamole cups, and a little bit of lunch meat. In this random drawer right here, I've had these this wine forever. Forever, you guys. Probably this one I got right after I moved in here. It was a gift. And I've had it at least, and it's been a year. I've lived in this house a year. <laughs> Still in my refrigerator. This other one, I couldn't even tell you. Probably a couple years. I don't know why I buy it. Um, some hot dogs for the boys. Some tofu that I haven't tried yet. Um, this is some yellow squash and some zucchini, rosemary, and basil. These are both for recipe dinners. And i got to get on making those. And some cucumbers, which, ooh. My kid will just eat cucumbers. If I slice it up, he'll just eat the whole thing. And then this was some old pizza that I'm thinking isn't going to get ate. So I have to tell my husband to get on that and eat it. I just have normal things inside, as you can tell, just condiments and whatnot. I really need to make these cinnamon rolls. I usually don't make them. I should have made them last night. Um, I always have a little thing of... Uh, creamer and I always have to get French vanilla. I just love this stuff and I don't use it very often But it's just a pick-me-up. These are like random gathering things and I probably just need to throw them away because they're always I'll probably drink the flavored water, but these were like my son's and he'll never know um, I always have a stash of Chick-fil-a sauce. Does anybody love God's chicken? Yep, we do uh, half and half, that was for a recipe. Always have tons of salad dressing, Duke's mayonnaise, cause you know, Southern. And, oh, here's my chocolate sauce. I don't know why it's over here. But just the regular condiments. I always have a lot of salad dressings because I bring salad dressings so often that I end up coming home with like half a bottle and they use it for ranch and things like that. Um, this is for like a chicken dish that I make these two specifically. Um, always keep stuff up here, biscuits, medicine, lime juice, I usually have lemon juice too. And this is just, you know, your regular, this is the best, this is the best Italian seasoning or dressing ever. Um, always have some cheater garlic in there, ketchup and jam. So that is it you guys, my crazy packed kitchen. Ridiculous, huh? Ridiculous. We gotta start cooking this, some of this stuff this week. Oh, and I messed it up. Did you guys have that with your refrigerator where one has to go in first? Yeah. All right guys, thanks for hanging out with me and cleaning up my kitchen and getting all my stuff done tonight. I hope this gives you some motivation to just get all that little stuff done so when you wake up in the morning, you do not have dishes, you do not have a mess, and you can just go on with your day. And let me tell you, it feels so good. So live for the reward, not for all the work. And I will see you guys in my next brand new video. Bye for now.